Welcome to the Collector Cave, and today we have a review of Mezco Toys Superman Recovery Suit Edition. And this is the figure that I initially passed on. I didn't order it when it dropped on Mezco's website, and it's now um, not available. But I got it from BBTS, Big Bad Toy Store. And it's been a while since I've reviewed a Mezco figure, and so I was wanting to, to do this. Um, this is a figure that I don't know a whole lot about personally. I, you know, I know about the whole Death of Superman run. I read that comic when Doomsday took him out. But after that, with the black suit um, and the recovery suit, all that kind of thing, I don't know a whole lot about it. But it's a cool look, um, completely different than what you're used to seeing with Superman. But on the box here, you see um, a shot from that comic when his um, cape is being flown in the air, ripped apart, and that comes with this set which I think is an awesome addition to this. But the box looks really nice. Just a nice black box with that silver um, Superman crest. I kind of wanted to show a comparison here with the 89 Batman. And they're the same size box, so it's a smaller box, like uh, Mezco summer releases typically are. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. And uh, this, this box has a date of 2023. So I think the figure might have come out maybe end of last year, but I think it's kind of more like this year people are getting it. And on the back, you see um, everything this figure comes with. So this is all stuff you'd see on the website, but if we kind of zoom in a little bit here, we see we get four interchangeable head sculpts. And as you notice, this isn't a clean cut looking Superman. This is a resurrected Superman. Um, so they drew him differently. I think in this is like early 90s, this comic run came through. So you see kind of like the, the mullet looking. Um, not a huge fan of this look, but it's still, the suit looks great. I love the big S, the silver S on the suit looks awesome. Comes with a bunch of hands. Uh, there's that tattered cape, which I cannot wait to see in person. I'm hoping it's wired. And then it comes with um, some rocks and uh, a stick to, to place the cape on like it's blowing in the wind. And then he comes with, let me zoom in here a little bit, um, Cyborg Superman head and grabbing hand, which again, I don't know anything about Cyborg Superman. I know it's part of that comic run, but there's that. And then a couple Kryptonian based uh, weapons with removable magazines and eradicator glasses. So these yellow sunglasses he can wear. Awesome looking. And then he comes with rocket boots and rocket th uh, thruster effects. I do know that when he was recovering, he didn't have all his powers. And it's been other times in the comics where he's wore the suit. It boosts the sun's rays, I believe, to energize him faster. And so when he couldn't fly, he used these booster, uh, booster boots, rocket boots. And there's some ammunition bandoliers with removable belts for the uh, Kryptonian weapons, I assume. I remember seeing a shot in the comics of him wearing those. Kind of a different look, completely different look. Like, to me, this feels like a Rambo Superman figure. <laughs> uh, the best way for me to describe it with the long hair, the beard, and then, uh, you know, weapons like this. And then the nice looking, sleek logo on the stand with the flight, the flight pole. And then here's some blogger shots um, of, of looks of Superman you can get in the pose here. So I'm kind of excited. I'm looking forward to comparing this figure to other Superman figures I own from Mesco and a couple Batman figures. So let's go ahead and get this thing um, unpackaged and take a look at it in greater detail. Okay, every Mesco figure comes with this um, paper product care guidelines. It talks about how to handle the, the character, the figure, not to damage them. And it mentions that these are intended for ages 18 and up. So there's your disclaimer. And then we have some directions here for this figure. It just shows you how some of this stuff goes on. It shows how the bandolier goes on. It talks about how the feet are removable. So the rocket boots and feet can be displayed on this figure. And the boots just slide over the shins. And then it shows you how to put on some of those pieces around the legs too. Some bandoliers. And then the uh, rocket boot effect pieces. And then how he can hold the weapons. And then finally the, the pole staff plugs into the rock base. And then the cape can hang on there. So let's look at a look at the figure here. I still have them in the package. I've removed the top layer, but um, this is a beefy figure. Um, the suit he's wearing, it feels like if you have either the, the Black Spider-Man or um, Diabolic, that figure release, it looks like the same material. Uh, that S looks awesome, that big S. And it's, it's actually um, hard plastic. It's not like an iron-on 
or um, pressed down like the other Superman emblems are. It's actually a piece of plastic glued on. And then here's a couple of the extra head sculpts, which we'll look at in further detail. Uh, the bandoliers, there's the rocket boots, a um, bunch of hands. There's three levels to this. The second level uh, shows um, the, the firing effect booster pieces, the glasses, there's the stick, there's the weapons, uh, there's the rock formation, the bandoliers, and then finally at the bottom, that nice base with the flight stand and then the, the tattered Superman cape and your 112 collective bag. If you don't want to keep the packaging, you can keep all the accessories in there. So let's get all this stuff out of packaging and take a closer look at the details. All right, here is Superman in his recovery suit and everything that this figure comes with. And as I was unboxing this, I realized that this figure comes with a lot of stuff, a lot more items than I um, initially realized when, when I looked through it. But boy, just taking it all out uh, was, was quite a bit. So quite a bit to go through here. First off, we'll just look at this base. And I think that base is fantastic. Um, clean look. I love the, the silver S. It's actually kind of white, a whitish, whitish gray on the base, but still looks good. And then there's the flight arm, which you'll probably use with Superman. Um, your 112 collective bag. And then let's start looking at details here. Here's the rock. And that, uh, that stick that puts the cape on plugs into there. It plugs in, you know, it plugs in right, right there. But the detail on the rock is nice. It's painted good. It's kind of a heavy piece. It's plastic. Looks like doomsday type rock. And then there's the boots. They're painted in a really bright silver. Um, it almost looks like there's toes articulation. I've never seen a Mezco figure with toes articulation. But no, it's not. It's just the way they're it's just the way they're designed. And it's just a ball joint in the foot. So you pull the, the foot off and then you um you pull these um, up over the shins, and then the foot plugs into the ball point, ball peg in the bottom of the foot. There's a bandolier, and this bandolier is really loose um, with articulation in each one of these points. So that's kind of cool. It goes over your shoulder like a shoulder harness. So that's kind of neat. And then here is um, the Cyborg Superman head. Look at that close-up detail. And the hand is attached, which I kind of like Mezco doing that with getting their hands attached to some of these pieces. Otherwise, it'd be really hard for him to hold this. So having it attached is nice. I believe Mafex has a Cyborg Superman and maybe even this Recovery Suit Superman available, I think. I don't really do a lot of Mafex, but I like it. I like their stuff. But it'd be cool if that eye was, that red was a little more, um, I don't know, almost like it was glowing. But the pretty cool details on this on this on this piece here, and then each of the head sculpts. There's four total head sculpts, uh, three with long hair, and then one with a shorter hair with a beard. We'll look at each of those individually in the figure, and then there's some of those um, thigh thigh harnesses for his weapons to attach to, and then the booster effects. I feel like this is a new piece for Mesco. Those look different than anything I've ever seen. Unless they're with a figure I don't have. And then those, I think, are the glasses. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look and see exactly what that is. I think those are glasses for when he uses the weapons. Speaking of the weapons, um, here they are. You get a pistol and then this, uh, this rifle that has uh, clips or magazines that can um, change out. You can unplug them and plug in a new clip. So that's pretty cool. And then here's all the hands. Um, Twelve total hands. So I'm not going to take all those out, but you get your flight hands, you get your fists, your grasping hands, all the stuff he needs, trigger holding hands in this case. And then here is the really cool piece that I wanted to look at or have. And this is uh, his cape when he's um, been defeated by, by um, oh, what's his name? The rock guy that kills him in the comics, whatever his name is. Yeah. Um, and it's tattered. It's ripped apart. The S is still there. Um, it's got some blackened spots on it, smudged up. It is wired on the sides, so that's nice. It is wired. So we'll get some wind blowing shots of that, but that is really cool. So you can use it, you know, just hanging from the stick um, on there, or you can also get it maybe with 
uh, other shots you can think of. And then here is the figure in detail. Yeah, the suit is very much like uh, Diabolic or like the Spidey. Um, and it's got some lines. If I zoom in to times five, you can see the lines in the suit. Very subtle, but you can see them. And then there is the, uh, the S symbol, which I love how big it is. And it's hard plastic, like I said. Now there is this uh, printed on darker, um, high gloss black piece on his shoulders. Um, one thing I didn't like though, you can see so the tailoring here, which is usually good by Mezco. Um, on the right here, the shoulder, you can actually see where the ball joint is. This part of the suit didn't cover, didn't cover um, the ball joint enough right here. So you can actually see the ball joint. I might be able to futz that suit over a little bit, but it's pretty it's pretty hard right here. It's like set that way. And then there is the uh, the head that he comes with in the packaging. Really great look. Again, not a huge fan of the long hair, but that's that's what the whole point of this was, right? It's a little bit of a early '90s uh, headbanger type, you know, design for Superman. So let's go ahead and go over articulation next. Okay, so the head is on a ball joint and the ne base of the neck is on a ball joint. So you can get pretty good look, pretty good looking down, looking up, not so much because of the hair. So flight poses might be difficult with his figure with the long hair because his hair impedes looking up. Unless you use the one that has the short hair. Uh, but you know, the, the head can do everything you want it to do. And it's of note, as you see here, the ball, the ball peg is attached to the head. Now, I've got a couple different versions of Superman. I have the Christopher Reeve, I have the Man of Steel edition, and I have the Justice League one. And I think two out of the four have the ball peg this way, and the other two are the opposite. So as far as swapping heads with these figures, unless you pull this ball peg out, and I'm not sure you can, I'm not going to try it. You can only really swap heads with two different figures, but we'll see how that looks uh, in the review here in a little bit. But uh, articulation is not too bad for the head. And the arms do go up all the way, 90. Um, you know, some people have had problems with this material over time. As you can see it creasing there. I would not leave him in this pose for long. I've never had any material rip on my figures. You know, I've got Green Lantern, I've got all the Batman, and I've never had an issue. But I don't overly pose my figures. Uh, you can see how that, how that changes there. But um, just something to keep in mind with this figure. Um, and then the arms do go forward about that far. I'm not going to push it. I don't want to chance ripping that or stretching it more and then go back about that far. And then there is a bicep swivel and then double jointed elbows but because of the muscles. They only go so far and then ball hinge, ball hinge wrists as most Mezcos have. And then there is an upper torso articulation and a lower torso, but because of the uh, Superman um, emblem, it's you know you can't get too much upper torso crunch. But to get him crunched forward, he does crunch pretty good considering he has that huge emblem on his chest, and then um, he goes back pretty good as well. So for flying poses, it might be good. And then the legs, um, there is a thigh cut on both thighs. And they go up almost 90, not quite, because the muscles, again, impede. And then double um, jointed knees. And then the, the foot is on a, usually a ball, a ball hinge. These aren't really moving at all. They're not going up and down at all. Uh, they do rotate. And they don't really um, rock. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe because of the boots, it's not a traditional ball peg. I don't know. But I'm not getting any, any movement out of these ankles besides left to right. So that's kind of odd, but it's okay. Let's change these, uh, these heads out. First, we'll look at this one in closer detail. Blue eyes look good. Paint apps look nice. The hair is done really good. While I'm not a fan of the long hair with Superman, it looks really good. Painted well. That's a good look. I like it. Let's go ahead and try the next one. This is, um, these ball pegs are all pushed forward in the head, so I got to pull them back. Yeah, they're not, 
set right, sorry. Sometimes you gotta play with these things to get them, to get them correct. But here's the one with the beard. And I, if I'm not mistaken, there's stages. I think he starts off like this. But again, I, I don't remember the comic run. It's been so long. And I didn't read all of the stuff post um, him coming back. Blue eyes look really good. And the beard looks good. Mustache. The hair looks just as good in this one. I'm trying to tell if it's the same sculpt. I think it might be the same sculpt, actually. Yeah, it is the same sculpt. Which is fine. And because of the hair, again, you can't get him to look up because the hair catches. So if any flying poses, you can't have him going straight at the camera unless he's looking down. And then we have kind of the same head skull, but this time with an open mouth. And I love when Mezco does these open mouth because they do a good detail with the teeth. Look at his tongue. Let me zoom in times five here. And this is times five, so you're going to see some imperfections. But man, that looks really good intensity maybe he's got his kryptonian rifle and he's going to town yeah it looks really good cool look and then we have the one that has a shorter hair more of a um clean cut look even though he has the beard um yeah that's a good look look at that one i don't know which head sculpt's my favorite Again, like for me, it'd be none because I prefer the you know the standard, you know, Boy Scout looking Superman like Christopher Reeve type style. But um, you know, I get it for the certain time period. But it's something different. I mean, you can, how many Supermans can you make, right? This is something different, so it's kind of neat. Kind of got his neck kind of turned. But uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite sculpt is. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and get him um, with some of this uh, gear on. All right, so after a lot of uh, work to get all this gear on Superman, I finally got it all on. It was quite a bit. Um, but, man, he, he looks pretty cool decked out. I got the cape on the stick there. Uh, you can make that pose that however you want for the most part. There's two wires in it. It's a little hard for it to stay on top of the stick. It wants to fall down. But you could use it for anything. But I think it's just, you know, a cool aesthetic there having that displayed maybe behind this figure. But if we zoom in on this figure here, these bandoliers that go on over his shoulders, um, it's a harness piece. So you put it on like you're putting on a jacket. So you put his arms back and then you slide the harness over his shoulders. And just a word of caution, each one of these, these bandolier pieces can disconnect. And it's easy to reconnect them, but I was trying to put his feet on after I had the bandoliers on, and I kept pulling the bandoliers apart. I thought I broke it at first, but it's just, uh, they snap into place really easy. But just be careful, because they can come apart. And then there he is holding that Kryptonian rifle. Um, I've got his the pistol and his thigh holster. And those uh, thigh holsters just slide up his legs once you take his feet off. And then you slide these, uh, these boot pieces up, which are kind of like a soft rubber. They slide right up, and then you got a poppies onto a ball peg which i don't think that ball peg is has any mobility mobility so it's you don't get much work from his ankles unfortunately cool concept i like how they how they designed it but i wish the ball peg could move around more because i've got to pretty much use the stand to get him otherwise he's going to kind of fall back um i mean i love the stand as it is but it, it just takes some work but some cool details looking at this, this bandolier. I'll spin it around and show you the back here and um, how he has to um, be harnessed up. In fact, let me use my turntable. All right, so here's Soup's on the turntable with the, the cape next to it. Let's zoom in and get some details in this figure here. He looks really good. I think there'll be a subset of people who, who won't want to get this because they're going to be afraid the material is going to tear over time or rip. Um, I think that happens in really humid climates. So if you have, you know, if you're in a dry climate, it shouldn't be that much of a problem, I don't think. Um, I live in Michigan. I never had a problem with mine. Um, and I've had my figures, you know, since they've come out, most of these. I don't have the Black Spider-Man, but I do have uh, Diabolic. And I, I looked at him just a couple weeks ago. And the suit's fine. No problems. 
So I, I assume similar with this one, but some people have had problems with, um, with that happening. So just a word of warning, but I think it looks really good. Again, I love that symbol, how it's actually plastic and not ironed on or, or patched on. It's an actual piece of plastic. Completely different look for Superman than what we're used to seeing. Really cool. Very cool. Boots look really good. The silver they used, I mean, I think turned out great. Yeah, very nice. There's the thigh holsters, extra ammo there. There's no effect pieces for firing the weapon, though. Nothing came with that. But if you have a Mezco figure with a weapon, you could probably use any of those to plug into the end of that. Yeah, very cool. And then here's the cape on the turntable. I think that cape turned out really good. It's probably my favorite piece of this whole set. Look at that tattered cape from when Doomsday took him out. Man, I, if you were alive during that comic run, that like shattered the comic world. Superman died. No one could kill Superman. And then enter Doomsday. So that was a huge story arc back in the day when uh, with comics. I kind of got out of comics around that time period, so I don't really know much past that with Superman. I never really followed Superman too much anyway. More of a Batman guy. But uh, this, this, uh, this cape, looking at some of these details, you see the dark marks on it, the black. I love that they still have the, uh, the symbol, though. That looks so good right there. Look at that. Very cool. So you could even use this cape, like uh, maybe you have a, you pose it with Darkseid, like Darkseid's just defeated Superman, and he's holding this cape in his hand. I might even try that here with a comparison here in a second. But yeah, this is a really cool piece. Look at that. Man, so good. All right, here's Superman with Cyborg Superman's head. He's flying up in the air. The booster rockets are engaged. He's flying up above his, uh, his cape, symbolizing his return. That's a really cool look. Let's zoom in and take a detailed look at this. Yeah, epic. Really epic look. Let's get one more view here. Look at that. So cool. Okay, here's recovery suit edition Superman next to a couple other Mezco Supermans. On the left, we have the Man of Steel edition, which just came out, I think, last year. Uh, tin box set with kind of a, a modern, updated comic book version of Superman. On the right, we have Christopher Reeve Superman. Um, I think they both look really good side by side. The recovery suit Superman is about six and a quarter inches tall. And it looks like Reeves, Christopher Reeve, might be a little bit taller than the other two. Um, that's a really cool comparison. I love how those colors pop. In the camera, um, Christopher Reeve looks a little bit brighter than he is in, in real life. He's a little bit, the blue is more muted in real life. But that's a, that's a cool look. Let's see what it looks like next to uh, Henry Cavill. All right, so here's um, the Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League Superman, played by Henry Cavill, next to Recovery Suit. And they're about the same height. They're about the same height. As you can see, though, the pigment in that Justice League version, I don't know why it's so orange. It's almost like they all have fake tans, which is disappointing. Um, I think the, uh, the paint work done on the Recovery Superman looks really good. Maybe a little pale, but there's just too much orange in the other one. But regardless, you've got your black um, suit Supermans both here. And this is kind of what Zack Snyder did with his um, recovery suit was the black version. And uh, they look good side by side. Let's do a couple Batman comparisons. All right, here he is next to 89 Batman, 
Michael Keaton on the left, and then Ben Affleck from Zack Snyder's Justice League on the right. So it looks like both the Batman are both taller than the Superman, which um, I find interesting. Maybe because the Superman's just recovering, he doesn't have all his full strength, he's not full size yet, maybe. Or that's how it's supposed to be. Batman should be a little bit taller than Superman. But uh, those look those look good side by side. Those black suits look so nice together. Let's see if we can change some of these head sculpts out. So I wanted to show you the difference between these four Superman. And I don't have the original Mezco comic book one, but I have these four. Um, you can see the Henry Cavill one has a ball peg in the neck. Recovery suit, the ball pegs in the head. Man of Steel edition, ball pegs in the head. And then Reeve, um, the ball peg is in the neck. So unless you pull these out, which you might be able to, I'm not going to try it. You can only change out two different Superman. So let's try putting um, Reeves on here. Um, boy, it doesn't look too bad. Wow. I've never done this before. It doesn't fit on the best, but it's good enough. <sighs> oh, man. I've never seen Reeves in a black suit before like this. That is awesome. Holy cow. I like that a lot. Okay, let's try putting on this Man of Steel edition on the recovery suit and see if we get a traditional head. I mean, it works. It does look kind of goofy, though. <laughs> I can see why the, the extra hair, the long hair in the recovery suit edition makes sense. But it does work. So you can swap those out. And, that, and this Man of Steel edition comes with a ton of heads. And then if you want, you can put this head on this one. Whoa. That is really cool, too. Holy cow. I like it. And then what else are we looking at here? Oh, we'll put Cavill's head on Reeves' body. How is that going to look? Besides the fact that the, the, the skin, skin tones don't match because this is so orange. I don't know what Bezco is thinking. Look at that. I mean, the camera makes it look worse than it really is. But, jeez, that is just... It's way too orange. It's like someone botched the, the paint apps on that whole uh, Justice League set. So that doesn't look as good. Um, but you can still do it. You can still put Cavill's head on Reeves' body and Reeves' head on Cavill's body. And I think that is spectacular. Holy smokes. So cool. Cool little mishmash you can do if you have these Mesco figures. Okay, and just for fun, I had to do this. And that is awesome. They really should have had Darkseid be the one that kills Superman and not just Doomsday. I've never been a Doomsday fan. I, I just I think his name was Doomsday. I can't remember. I just was never one of my favorite characters. But Darkseid? Holy cow, look at that. I got some cool ideas for toy photography here. That is epic. If I bring Recovery Suit Superman over with the uh, Man of Steel head I still have on, you can see the, the size difference, the height difference, which is accurate. Dark side's huge. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Okay, so at the end of the day, is this figure worth it? I think if you like Superman and maybe you're a fan of the death of Superman, that whole comic run, his recovery after coming back to life, I think this Mezco figure is absolutely worth it. I think um, the the rattered, the tattered Superman cape in the back there is my favorite part of this whole thing, and it can be used in various settings. And uh, this figure was a ninety-five, which isn't bad considering all it comes with, and it's still available in BBTS, and it's a waitlist item on Mezco. So if you still want to order it, it's available. Um, for some reason, I don't think this one's going to sell very well. It's just not this the typical Superman that people like, you know, the red, white, red, what, red, blue, and yellow. But um, there's something to be said about uh, about uh, the black suit and and this version they did with that plastic S instead of like having it like printed on, like you know something like this, which still looks good. That printed on looks good, but it's just that that crest looks so good. If you compare these two real quick here. The Zack Snyder one, you know, that's printed on that S, whereas that is a piece of hard plastic glued on. Hopefully there's no issues over time and it stays on. Like I said, I've never I've never had any problem 
problems with the Mezco figures um, over time with the de degradation of suits and things like that. So yeah, um, this has been a really cool figure. I like it more than I thought I was going to. And uh, if you like this, you know, please subscribe, like, comment. I enjoy doing this and I enjoy the feedback you guys give with comments and any thoughts you have on these figures or, or stuff I'm reviewing. Uh, please feel free to, to give me some feedback. So this has been Mezco Toys Superman Recovery Suit Edition. And until next time, we'll, we'll see you all later.